A barnacle is a crustacean best known for attaching itself to submerged surfaces, such as tidal rocks or the bottoms of ships. Most closely related to crabs and lobsters, there are around 1,000 barnacle species known today. The study of barnacles is called cirripedology, named for their subclass Cirripedia, which means curl-footed in Latin. To become an adult, barnacles secrete hard calcium plates that completely encase them, including a door at the top that the barnacle can open and close as needed. This door will close if there is a predator, or if the tide goes down and they need to retain moisture. They will open this door when submerged to allow their eight pairs of feather-like appendages, called cirri, to bring in food. They do this by beating the cirri to draw microorganisms like plankton into the shell for consumption by the mouth, stomach and intestines. The barnacle's blood vascular system is minimal. They have no true heart, but a sinus performs a similar function, with blood being pumped through it. They also have no gills, instead absorbing oxygen from the water through their limbs and the inner membrane of their shell. The adult has photoreceptors that stimulate the shadow reflex, where a sudden decrease in light causes them to close their door plates. Barnacles hatch into a nauplius. After molting six times, they become a cyprid. While in this form, it must find a suitable place to settle. This is because the majority of barnacles are sessile, which means that they are immobile, so they will stay in that spot for the duration of their lives. Once a suitable spot is found, it attaches by secreting what is commonly referred to as a cement. This cement is one of the most powerful natural glues known. There are two main types of barnacle, the stalked and the acorn. The most common barnacles are acorn, and they cement their shells directly to a surface. But stalked barnacles secrete their cement and attach themselves from long muscular stalks. Once fixed in place, they will undergo metamorphosis into a juvenile barnacle. Eventually, they will reach their adult form. Most barnacles are hermaphroditic, meaning that they have both male and female reproductive organs. However, in the case of barnacles, they only function as a male or a female at any given time. Though they are sessile animals, they do not need to self-fertilize. Instead, barnacles have extremely long penises, up to eight times their body length, which is by ratio the longest in the animal kingdom. This long penis helps them to insert their sperm into neighboring barnacles. A single barnacle can produce up to 10,000 eggs, and these are stored in a sac outside the body, but within the shell cavity. Some barnacles also use a process called sperm casting, where they release sperm into the water and hope that the females catch them to fertilize their eggs with. This technique, however, is not nearly as effective as direct insertion. Once the male is finished for the mating season, they will shed their penis and grow another one the next year. Barnacles live exclusively in marine environments, usually inhabiting shallow waters in the intertidal zone. Since the intertidal zone becomes dry during low tide, barnacles are well adapted against water loss. Amongst the most common predators to barnacles are whelks, as they are able to grind through the barnacle's strong exoskeleton and feed on the softer inside parts. Other prey include mussels, which eat the barnacle larvae, and some starfish. There is one type of barnacle that is a parasite. These are called rhizocephalin barnacles, which in Latin means root-headed. These parasitic barnacles prey on other crustaceans, most commonly crabs. The anatomy of parasitic barnacles is generally simpler than that of their non-parasitic relatives. They have no outer shell or limbs, only unsegmented sac-like bodies. They attach themselves to the weakest part of the crab. They then form a hollow probe that penetrates the crab's shell. After penetration, they inject their own cells into the crab's hemolymph, which is basically the crab's blood. The barnacle then grows roots, hence the name rhizocephalin, throughout almost every part of the crab's body. With these roots, they are able to leach nutrients from the crab. After it's started feeding, the barnacle will extend itself outside of the host, forming a mass on the crab's abdomen. Only the female barnacles feed off crabs in this manner. Males must find a crab that already has a female barnacle leeching off of it, and this female must not yet have reproduced. 
If the male barnacle finds this, he will insert himself into the female barnacle's sac and slowly become nothing more than a mass of cells, basically acting as a testicle for the female barnacle and fertilizing her eggs for her. Once the eggs are ready to hatch, they will do so right inside the female. And when she is ready to release her larvae, she will get an assist from her crab host. The crab host has been fooled into thinking that this mass is a part of themselves. A female crab host will clean and ventilate the mass, and when it's time to disperse the barnacle larvae, she will rise up and jiggle out the larvae like she would do with her own eggs. In male crab hosts, the barnacles castrate them by using their root system to cut off the flow of reproductive hormones. This makes the male crab act like a female, again taking care of the eggs and helping to disperse the larvae. The male crab takes on its new female role so well that it will attract a mate, which the parasitic barnacle is counting on, so that it can now infect the mate. During the Middle Ages in Europe, people believed that the goose barnacle grew into a barnacle goose. This was because the barnacle goose's young were never seen, as they are born in the Arctic, and the goose barnacle's fleshy stalk resembles the neck of a barnacle goose. Barnacles are one of the most dominant fouling organisms. Fouling is the accumulation of unwanted material on surfaces that leads to corrosion, reduced efficiency, and expensive repairs. In barnacles, this is caused by them attaching themselves to underwater objects with their extremely adhesive cement. 